It's another beautiful day for the bees. Today we are at Mile Tisa for our 21 apiary construction. This is Kajiado County, most of people here engage in cattle keeping. Kajiado people are predominantly the Masai. Some of the people here have started modern bee farming. Today we are dealing with both KTBH hives and Langstroth hives. They hang hives on the trees where their cattle feed at the end of the day. Most of the people have lost their cattle just from wild bee attacks. Today we are bringing you a modern way and secure way to prevent both the bees and cattle. For us to identify the material list, we have to conduct a site survey. Site survey helps a lot by identifying the best design, materials, location and direction of the apiary. We also check on the forage inside and outside the farm. We have round poles, 3 by 2 timber, 6 by 1, concrete, sand and cement are the major ones. The structure starts by putting up one pole that will give us a level to other poles. And before you make the pole stand and corrugated, you must spray a chemical to keep away the underground ants. This region has a lot of ants that build the tallest ant hills. Remember to click the link below to watch other apiaries from number 1 to the latest. Our poles are up, let's make the water trench all around the structure. This trench will serve us three factors. One is to act as a barrier for encroaching insects that might attack bees. It will also act as water for bees for their daily life. In some apiaries like number two we have put fish inside. We have explained in our previous episodes why we put the black PVC and the wire mesh together. This method is to make the water trench to retain water for a longer time. Please click the subscribe button below and turn on the notifications. The roofing is done professionally by experts. Jacob has been in the making and he knows what is expected. We use 3 by 2 timbers for roofing. <laughs> if it's your first time here please click the link provided below to access all our apiaries and learn more. Let's work on the floor then we will finalize the roof later. Leveling and watering the ground is crucial for creating stable foundations for buildings. At the walkway, we will finish with corrugated concrete for easy movement. And on the sides we will show you how we will finish it with dry concrete. On the roofing we have used simple iron sheets but durable enough. Once the roof is done, we have to install the chain link all around the structure. The chain link helps bees from being attacked by honey barge and thieves. Let's take you around this farm and see how bees will enjoy and give us enough honey. This is called water dam for our farm crops. Around here the client has boosted the forage by adding sunflowers. In this farm there are dragon fruits. 
Bees are known to visit these flowers in large numbers. They also settle here and look for a permanent home to go. Pawpaw fruits also are in plenty in this farm. We also have onions in the farm. And many more flowers in the jungle forest. If you need a list of flowers to plant around your apiary please follow the instructions in the description. Let's continue on the inside part of the apiary. We have put dry concrete on both sides. This is to reduce cost and add texture the interior. We have also made the beds where both Langstroth and KTBH hives will rest. This apiary has taken us 12 days to construct and it can carry 100 hives. For us to get enough water to maintain the trench, we must install the garters to collect rains. Our trench now has water to protect the bees. Today we will install Kenya top bar hives into the apiary. If you need both Langstroth and KTBH hives please contact us on the number on the description. As you can see the farmer moves easily on the walkway inside the apiary while inspecting the hives. We are going to drop the lemon grass all to attract the scouting bee. Beekeeping is a profitable venture that anyone can do. Just one drop of the lemon grass all is enough for the hive. Honey bees have 170 odorant receptors in their antenna and have a sense of smell 50 times better than a dog. The upper part inspection is made easier for a farmer than in the forest. What have you learned? Please leave a comment below. Now our apiary is completed ready for the 100 colonies in the next 3 months.